How's it going everyone? This is Boots with Snap Keep Arcade, back with more Guilds of Ravnica spoilers. Let's start with some of the cards spoiled late yesterday. Bounty Agent costs 1 colorless and a white for a 2-2 human soldier with vigilance. Tap, sacrifice Bounty Agent, destroy target legendary permanent that's an artifact, creature, or enchantment. This is a great card out of the sideboard against any decks running Search for His Kanta or any of the legendary enchantments for Ixalan block. This is exactly the type of card you want to keep in the back of your mind when tuning your deck. March of the Multitude costs X colorless mana, a green, and two white for an instant with Convoke. Create X 1 1 white soldier creature tokens with lifelink. I really want to see this card played in Constructed, but I'm worried the deck isn't quite there yet. If a green white tokens list becomes viable next season, we'll be seeing this at the top tables, but in order for that to happen, we need something to prevent being blown out by Goblin Chain Whirler. Izoni Thousand Eyed costs two colorless two black, and two green for a legendary 2-3 elf shaman. Undergrowth. When Izoni Thousand Eyed enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 black and green insect creature token for each creature card in your graveyard. Pay a black and a green, sacrifice another creature, you gain one life, and draw a card. This card is great for limited, and might synergize well with some sort of sapperling deck in Constructed, but I don't think the likelihood of that is very high. Izoni is definitely first pickable in limited. Deafening Clarion costs 1 colorless, 1 red, and 1 white for a sorcery. Choose one or both. Deafening Clarion deals 3 damage to each creature. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Modal spells like this tend to see a ton of play in Constructed, and I think Deafening Clarion has the potential to find a home next season. The board wipe is great, and the lifelink can be extremely relevant, but does an aggro deck like Boros really want a card like this? My guess is that we'll see this in the sideboard of a Jeskai Control deck, should a deck like that come up. Goblin Crater Maker costs 1 colorless and a red for a 2-2 Goblin Warrior. Sacrifice Goblin Crater Maker, choose 1. Goblin Crater Maker deals 2 damage to target creature. Destroy target colorless non-land permanent. I love this card for almost any format. It's great in limited and gives red the ability to destroy artifacts and Karn in constructed and has a ton of value in modern. When arena modern is introduced to arena and as it becomes more complex, cards like this are exactly what we'll start looking to for our sideboards. Goblins seem to be getting a ton of cards in this set, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that archetype play a dominant role next season. Eye and Eyes costs one colorless, a blue and a red for an instant. Counter target spell. Ionize deals 2 damage to that spell's controller. Control decks will still be around after rotation. How could they not with Teferi still being legal? But I'm really interested to see how good they really are and what colors they'll be. Grixis and Jeskai seem to be getting a lot of support, and a card like Ionize could fill the vacuum left by rotating counter spells like Disallow and Supreme Will. Runaway Steamkin costs 1 and red for a 1-1 elemental. Whenever you cast a red spell, if Runaway Steamkin has fewer than 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Runaway Steamkin. Remove 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters from Runaway Steamkin, add red red red. The flavor of this card is great. Building up pressure and releasing steam is a concept that fits perfectly in Is It cards. In order for this card to work, you'll need a lot of cheap red cards, which luckily is kind of red's thing. It doesn't do much the turn it comes down, but if left unchallenged, Runaway Steamkin will get big fast. This card is great in limited, but questionable in constructed. Next up, we have a return of the Guild Gates. Guild Gates are a great way to fix your mana in limited and have even had constructed decks built around them in the past. This time Time around, each guild gate has two printings with unique art. Wizards of the Coast explained the two printings this morning. There are two versions of each gate in Guilds of Ravnica. One depicts the open front of the guild itself and its public image. The second is the back alley clandestine entrance, where secret deals and intrigue abound. I love the lore of magic, so seeing that represented in the cards is awesome. With the guild gates, we also have some cards that synergize with them. Guild Summit costs 2 and a blue for an enchantment. When Guild Summit enters the battlefield, you may tap any number of untapped gates you control. Draw a card for each gate tapped this way. Whenever a gate enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. If we get a win condition centered around the guild gates like we did in Return to Ravnica block with Maze's End, I could see a card like this being played in Constructed. Otherwise, I think its home is in Limited and will be a great pickup late in the draft once you've drafted a handful of guild gates. 
District Guide costs two and a green for a 2-2 Elf Scout. When District Guide enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card or gate card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. This card will see more play in Limited overall because it doesn't depend on Guild Gates like Guild Summit. Even if your deck isn't built around Guild Gates, this card is still a great pick if you're running green. Beast Whisperer costs two colorless and two green for a 2-3 Elf Druid. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. We've seen cards like this in previous sets that didn't quite play as well as we'd like them to, even in Limited. This card just doesn't do enough in the 4-mana slot, and I can see myself first picking a good number of uncommons over this in draft. Chemister's Insight costs 3 colorless and a blue for an instant with Jumpstart. Draw 2 cards. This is the card to replace Hieroglyphic Illumination and Glimmer of Genius in control decks. I'm excited to see what graveyard interactions we come up with to play well with Jumpstart and maximize the power of Chemister's Insight. Nullhide Ferox costs 2 colorless and 2 green for a 6-6 beast with Hexproof. You can't cast non-creature spells. Pay 2, Nullhide Ferox loses all abilities until end of turn. Any player may activate this ability. If a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Nullhide Ferox, put it onto the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. This card is okay at 4 mana, but I don't see it being played over Vinemare and Constructed. When I first read it, I thought any discard ability could let you cheat it onto the field, but after rereading, I realized it was only your opponent's discard abilities. I just don't see justifying playing this card outside of Limited. Artful Takedown costs 2 colorless, a blue, and a black for an instant. Choose one or both. Tap Target Creature. Target Creature gets minus 2, minus 4 until end of turn. This card is great removal and limited and will close out a bunch of games. Remember, this card says choose one or both, so you get to kill a 4 toughness creature and tap down a big threat to swing in for the win. Gateway Plaza is a gate that enters the battlefield tapped. When Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you pay one colorless. Tap, add one mana of any color. I think this card might see a little more play than most of the common lands printed in a given set because of the gate synergy. But even then, I don't think it's very powerful and limited. It might see play if Maze's End is reprinted, but I wouldn't hold my breath. If you haven't seen our 25 minute lore video on Liliana Vess, I've included the link in the video description. You definitely want to be caught up on the lore once the Guilds of Ravnica story starts next month. Make sure to subscribe to Snapkeep Arcade to stay up to date on Guilds of Ravnica spoilers, and make sure to hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. This has been Boots with Snapkeep Arcade. Thanks for watching.